Good morning, dear professors and all the audience. Thank you for your attendance. My name is Yi Xuan Wang, and my co-presenter is Zhen Yixu. It is a great pleasure for me to be able to give this presentation. I'm going to talk about a study entitled "A Corporate-Based Study on the Use of Lexical Bundles in Taiwanese College English Majors Essays." And I would like to begin by addressing the target of the study. This study aims to investigate whether students will use lexical bundles effectively. Also, figuring out students' writing performance or their writing problems. Moreover, this presentation is divided into six parts. I will start by giving the background information and overviewing the literature review. About lexical bundles, methodology used in this study. Also, I provide results and conclusion. At last, some implications about this study were provided. I'll start by providing on the background of this research. Writing is considered one of the skills which are difficult for students to learn because the amount of vocabulary knowledge is a key element of writing. But some students did not have enough vocabulary knowledge, so teachers and researchers tried to find a new way to help them overcome these problems. So, lexical bundles showed up and received a lot of attention. Many scholars started to look into the lexical bundles are different kinds of written text. Three purpose of this study is threefold. First, exploring whether Taiwanese students will produce lexical bundles. Also, finding the frequently used bundles in the essays. Finally, investigating the preference of students for using lexical bundles. Three research questions were addressed based on the three purpose mentioned above. Question one. Can lexical bundles be observed in academic essay? If so, what types of lexical bundles do Taiwanese college students use? Second, what lexical bundles are frequently used by students of different writing proficiency levels? The third one is what is the difference between among students of different proficiency levels in terms of discourse function? Many studies have been investigating the use of lexical bundles on spoken or written text, and what we are gonna present today is about written text. First of all, I'll introduce what lexical bundle is. Lexical bundle is the term which is coined in 1999. The definition is the sequence of word forms that repetitively. Go together in natural discourse, meaning that a combination words should put together frequently. Also, the characteristics of lexical bundles is semantically transparent, which is means that we can know the meanings from the words easily. And it is different from the idioms, because idioms are the groups of words that have the figurative meaning. But not every word string can consider lexical bundles. Two criteria will help us define. The first one is frequency. It means that the number of times that lexical bundles appear in the corpus. The other is coverage of occurrences, which means that the lexical bundle should also appear in at three to five different texts. And this picture will help you realize the criteria. The criteria will avoid over-identifying lexical bundles. And lexical bundles was developed into two patterns: structural patterns and functional patterns. For the structural patterns, there is a verb phrase, noun phrase, prepositional phrase, and dependent clause fragments. For the fun functional pattern, lexical bundles are grouped based on their meanings in the discourse context. Three main categories were provided: stance, 
bundles meaning that a particular way of thinking about something, especially when those opinions are expressed publicly or officially. These course organizers. Meaning that giving information before or after the topics, and referential bundles. Meaning that a word or a phrase applied to a particular person, place, or things, and not to any others. Each of the bundles have several subcategories associated with specific functions and meanings. Next. This slide provides a brief overview of Let's Go Bundles in writing. The first research is taking is talking about the Let's Go Bundles in academic writing. Bieber and his colleagues in 1999 conducted. It. The results show that many bundles are not in complete structural. Otherwise, the complete structural bundles end with function words. For example, as a result of. Next research applied Let's Go bundles on the document written in English. The study compared official EU documents and online EU articles. Also, another study conducted on research articles. Highland developed the new categories. The categories focus on the research center. Highland compares students from different majors aside from the linguistic field. The final one. Investigated the bundle on testing research. They compared the use of Let's Go bundles in the test by lower-level students and high-level students. In general, there is a significant difference among all the written texts. And for the significance of the study, Lee and Volkov did the studies in 2017. This study focused on writing responses to email writing tests in Canada. They divided students into three groups based on the scores they got. This current study was inspired by Lee and Volkov. A few studies have been done on the corpus of Let's Go Bundles in the testing environments. Also, little research has been done. On the use of Let's Go bundles by Taiwanese AFL students, the current studies is similar and different in many ways. First, our written test is academic writing, and we use the online writing test. Lastly, we set different criteria in this study. And for the methodology in this study. A total of two two hundred and twelve essays, which is written by Taiwanese college EFL students through online writing program, Quaternion. Participants consisted of students from English majors at two public universities. The instrument was Ngrain Extractor from the website LexTutor. It helped us extract and identify Let's Go bundles. We designed three learning corpora based on the scores that students got. So there are three learning corpora: lower level, medium level, and higher level. The picture is a website called Lex Tutor, and it also has many functions helping us learning English. And the picture is a screen of Angry Extractor. Once you put the text file in. As long as you click submit button, two word to six word Let's Go bundles as well as frequency will appear. This table shows the detailed information of each corpus: twenty essays from lower level students, ninety three from medium level students, and ninety nine for higher level students. The total of running words is ninety thousand and nine hundred ninety nine. Procedure for data collection: collection. Students were asked to write an essay with the same topics in about forty five minutes. The topic is about how to get together with your roommates harmoniously. And when they finish the essays, the machine will collect the essays and start to score. 
its score range is two points to five points. We divide it into three learner corpora based on the scores that students receive. The final step is to put the file into Ngram Extractor to explore Lasco bundles along with frequency. Also, classify Disco function according to the meanings of Lasco bundles to understand the role and the use of Lasco bundles. And now let us turn to the result of each research question. The first question, can lexical bundles be observed in academic essays? If so, what types of lexical bundles do Taiwanese college students use? And this slide presents the descriptive statistics. As you can see, among three groups of students, they all use the lexical bundles in the essays. So, lexical bundles were observable in students' essays. Also, median level students use more bundles and use six word lexical bundles. And on the other hand, lower level students only use two word lexical bundles in their essays. And for a second question, what lexical bundles are frequently used by the students of different writing proficiency levels? This slide presents the frequently used bundles. The first table shows that two were let's go bundles in the lower level corpus. This and the second table reveals highly used let's go bundles from two word to six word in the median level corpus. I chose the top five let's go bundles for each word string. The third table also lists the top five let's go bundles for each word string in the higher level corpus. And for the third question, what is the difference among the students of different proficiency level in terms of discourse function? For the last question, the study will only focus on median level and higher level students. Moreover, classify only three word to six word let's go bundles because most two word bound let's go bundles are not meaningful. I compared the previous studies which inspired me to see whether there is any difference between between these two studies. So we can see the results of these core functions. Although they have three groups of students, the results point out that most students use stance bundles, followed by other functions, discourse organizers, and referential bundles. Other functions are related to the conversational functions. As they focus on email writing, so they may have to communicate with each other. But our study is writing descriptive essays. So they seldom use conversational functions to express their opinions. In the study, our students have different preference for the use of let's go bundles. Median level students use more stance bundles, followed by referential bundles and discourse organizers. As we mentioned above, each of the bundles have its subcategories. In these two studies share the same results. It was revealed that students like to use stem, stem bundles to express their attitude, desire, and obligation. Also, they use referential bundles to express time, place, or text. Quantifying means to measure or judge the size or amount of something. For the discourse organizers, median level students tend to give more detailed information about the topics. It can be con so it can be concluded that students will use different let's call bundles between different kinds of essay writing and the length of the essays. Finally, we turn to our conclusion of this study. 
Students use a large number of Lexical bundles in their essay, except for the lower level students. But one particularly interesting finding is that some bundles have grammar errors. Here are two examples from the corpus. We all knew that the bundles have grammar errors. However, once they reach the criteria we set in this study, they could be considered lexical bundles. And also, here are some limitations of the study. The first one is small size of the learning corpus. In general, the corpus has to reach above 1 million words, but the study only contains 90,000 words. Second, the number of essays from the lower level corpus, it only consisted of 20 texts, but the other two corpora consisted of about 90 texts. This may influence the research because the number of texts is not equal. And the last one is frequency. The cutoff point of this study is 10 times, which is quite a strict number because the cutoff point for the small size corpus is two times to 10 times. The high setting may have led to fewer less code bundles to be identified. The finding of our analysis have pedagogical implications. I divide it into three parts to introduce teachers, students, and academic textbook. For the student, as the teacher knew students' writing performance and find out some problems, for example, grammar errors, the teachers can correct them immediately because it reveals the mistakes that students always make. Introducing Let's Go Bundles and teach them how to use it appro appropriately can enhance students' writing ability. And for students, they can learn less code bundles and help them to organize their ideas and opinions. Also, they can use less code bundles to make complex sentences. The special one is about textbooks. It can add less code bundles in a context. This can help students to know the functions of less code bundles and learn how to use it effectively. So that's all that I want to show everyone about the study. Thank you for your attention.